Hello, this is W Copeland 38 bringing you my video of my XD45 that I purchased just a little while back. When you purchase it, it's going to come with two magazines. I purchased another one. This one happens to be loaded with Winchester 230 grain hollow points. It comes with a lock out of the factory. Try to keep the glare down. There's the XD emblem. It also comes with a two magazine holder. It goes on your belt. Fits real well. There's the belt loops. It does a pretty good job. Also out of the factory in your box you'll get this holster. The way this is set up, it's going to ride a little bit high on the belt, but that's okay. If you're going to go with concealed carry, then this is the way to go. I've also picked up another holster that I carry it in, use it for storage when it's put away. It's from Bagmaster. It's a regular NG model. It holds the stir magazine real well. It doesn't tend to want to fall out. Keeps it in real good and tight, and we'll go into that farther into the video. It has adjustable straps that you can see, one on each side. You can set it to how, how it uh, conforms to the weapon. The XD is a 45 ACP standard. It comes with a, just a tad over a four inch barrel. It's got polymer grips, a matte finish on it. It's got Tricon, not Tricon, but just standard three dot sights. They have the option of you can get them with the Tricon. It's got several safeties built into it. I want to go into that real quick. It has the trigger safety and it has something that only comes on most 1911s and not too many of these uh, polymer frames in that it's got the back strap safety. That's so that it, the gun cannot go off unless this is depressed. So you're actually intentionally firing the weapon. It also has, on the top here on the slide, it has a round indicator that would show you if you have a round in the chamber. Also on the back of the gun, you can see this little dot right here. That indicates that you have the, if that dot is out, it means the trigger is out. Now, before we go any farther, I'm going to show you that the gun is safe. So, I'm going to pop the magazine, show you there's nothing in there. Set it down. i rack the slide. Nothing in that. I'll go ahead and put the magazine in. See, just like that. We're, we're good to go. The gun is relatively easy to field strip. The field strip lever right here. If you're going to take it apart, it slides up like such. You would release the slide release, pull the trigger. Of course, you wouldn't have the magazine in it, and the gun's ready to go. The only drawback on this weapon at all is the fact that the slide release is very stiff. Now, as long as I've done that, let me show you this protrusion right here. That shows you that you're co essentially cocked and locked and you would have a uh, round in the chamber. I'm going to go ahead and, and lock it back again. Release this back down and we'll go through that again. Now, as far as the specific on it, it's 20 ounces unloaded. It has an overall measurement of about seven and a half inches in the mag in uh, the magazine it's 10 plus one that's all that's legal in the state that I live in it's a extremely accurate weapon it's at 20 ounces it, it is a little bit heavy but it doesn't have a whole lot of recoil you can shoot this thing all day long and you'll stay on target now one thing that I do like about it, aside from the ease of cleaning, is that it's very stable to bring back on target. When you fire it, it, it without having so much kick, you can, it's easy to bring back right, right on the target at, while you're shooting. One other thing about the gun, with uh, 
the magazines, they come at, they slide in and out relatively easy. I've seen some that uh, were a little bit stiff, that weren't uh, easy to swap out. I'm when I take it to the range, I'm going to be practicing with doing speed shooting and such as that. As long as there's not a whole lot of people there, I don't want to make people get nervous when I'm around them because uh, not everybody's used to that sort of thing. You want to take it out to an open range. I've done another video at the range already. I'm going to be put, putting that with this video so you can see... Uh, this gun in action, like I said, it, it's extremely accurate and it's a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, that's it for this part. Uh, on, when I attach the other video, you'll see the gun in action. It's, it's really a, a big pleasure. It, oh, one thing I almost forgot. It does have the accessory rail. You can put a flashlight on it. I have a laser that I even though I have it, I don't necessarily use it. it it's just there. I'm more technically more accurate without the laser because if the laser gets out of adjustment at all, then you're going to follow it and actually pointing at the target. And it's not really what I would want to train for. It may be good if you're doing it at night or something like that. But that's a whole different story. Like I said, I'm really happy with the gun. It doesn't have a whole lot of recoil. It's not too big for concealed carry but it would do. Let me show you. It fits in the holster like this so when you're on the belt it's going to ride a little bit high like I explained earlier. Slides out relatively easy. It has an adjustment on the side. It's down here. It cut, when you buy the gun it comes with an allen wrench to set the uh, tension on that. These also have a tension adjustment for the uh, magazines. It's right here. And of course it's got the belt loops. I prefer the Bagmaster. Seems to keep things a little bit more compact. Well, that's it for, for this video. Thank you for uh, coming to W. Copeland 38 and keep, keep an eye out for the rest of my videos. And like I said, I'll be attaching the one that I did when I went to the range. Thank you and have a good day.